In this video, we will be solving part A and part B of this question. So your question says, Martha Modest has preferences represented by the utility function u of a comma b is equal to a b divided by 100, where a is the number of ounces of animal crackers that she consumes and b is the number of beans that she consumes. With this information, your first part says, on the graph below, sketch the locus of points that Martha finds indifferent to having 8 ounces of animal crackers and 2 ounces of beans. Also sketch the locus of point that she finds indifferent to having 6 ounces of animal crackers and 4 ounces of beans. So this is the graph given to us where on the x-axis you have animal crackers and on the y-axis you have beans. Now she is asking us to draw the locus of all those points that she is indifferent to having. 8 ounces of animal crackers and we know that your A represents your animal crackers and B represents your beans and we have B with beans. Now here we have to first draw the locus of all those points that Martha finds indifferent to having 8 ounces of animal crackers that means here your A is 8 and 2 ounces of beans that means your B is 2. Basically we have to draw the indifference curve passing through the point 8 comma 2. So let's first plot the point 8 comma 2 which will lie here. Now we have to draw the indifference curve passing through this point. In order to do that, we need to first calculate the utility she is getting at the point 8 comma 2. So that would be the utility at 8 comma 2. And the utility function is of the form AB divided by 100. Here your A is 8 and B is 2. So substituting it, you will be able to get the utility as 8 multiplied by 2 divided by 100 which is nothing but 0 0.16. Now we have to find all the combinations of A and B that means animal crackers and beans such that the utility is equal to 0 0.16 and we know that the utility is taking the form of AB divided by 100 which is equal to 0 0.16. If you cross multiply it, you will be able to get A, B is equal to 16. Now we need to find all those combinations such that the product of the two is equal to 16. One we already know that it is 8 comma 2. The other could be 2 comma 8 or if you take the values as 4 comma 4 where she is consuming 4 ounces of animal crackers and 4 ounces of beans. So let's plot it. Your 2 comma 8 will lie here and your 4 comma 4 will lie here. If I join this, I will be able to get the locus of all those points that Martha finds indifferent to having 8 ounces of animal crackers and 2 ounces of beans as the utility at this point or this point or any other point along this curvature would give her the utility of 0.16. If you are well versed with the calculus and you know your graphs well, then you could have easily drawn the graph where you all you need to do is just draw the parabola passing through the point 8 comma 2 as AB is equal to 16 is the equation of a parabola. Now let's move on to the next sub part of this question which asks us to sketch the locus of all those points that she finds indifferent to having 6 ounces of animal crackers and 4 ounces of beans. Now here your animal crackers is 6 and your beans is 4. For this sub part, I would be using the color blue. So I am just doing the calculations here only. You can easily differentiate first sub part and second sub part by my color differentiation. Now your point 6 comma 4 lies here. First thing to note here is that this point lies above this indifference curve. That means the utility that Martha is getting at 6 comma 4 should be higher than the utility she is getting 8 comma 2. Again, we are asked to draw the indifference curve passing through the point 6 comma 4. Since the utility function is same, a quick step you can do is just draw a graph parallel to the red graph and you would be able to get your desired locus of the points asked in the question, which would give you the graph like this. So this blue graph is nothing but an indifference curve parallel to the red indifference curve. And it is a bit higher because this is giving a high utility to Martha. Now, if you do not want to take the shortcut, what you can do is go through the entire process again. So let's do that. Now we have to calculate the utility at 6 comma 4, which would be 6 
multiplied by 4 divided by 100 which is nothing but 0 0.24 as the utility function is of the form ab multiplied by 100 and here our a is 6 and b is 4. Now for sketching the graph you need combination of all those points which are giving you the utility of 0 0.24 that means now you want the utility as a comma b should be equal to 0 0.24. And the utility function is of the form AB divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.24 or your AB is equal to 24. Now let's find all those combinations which give us the utility as 24. So it could be 4 comma 6 or 3 comma 8 or 8 comma 3. Now, while thinking these combinations, you have to find just two numbers which give you the product of 24. So, don't go in decimals because that will only mess up your calculation. Just think of very simple numbers and you will be easily able to get your points. So, let's plot these points. Your 3 comma 8 will lie somewhere here. Next is 4 comma 6 would lie here. And likewise, your comma 3 would lie here. So if I join all these points, I would be able to get my desired locus of the points or the indifference curve passing through the point 6 comma 4, which would look like this. Or you could have easily drawn a parabola having the equation AB is equal to 24, which would give you the desired graph. So there are multiple ways of your sketching the graph. You could have opted for any depending upon your comfort level. Now moving on to the next part which says Bertha Brassi has preferences represented by the utility function b of a comma b which is equal to 1000 a square b square where again a is the number of ounces of animal crackers that she consumes and b is the number of ounces of beans that she consumes. On the graph below we are asked to sketch the locus of the points that Bertha finds indifferent to having 8 ounces of animal crackers and 2 ounces of beans and also sketch the locus of the points that she finds indifferent to having 6 ounces of animal crackers and 4 ounces of Beans. Again, we are asked to draw the graph just like in part A. The only difference here is that we are given a different utility function to work with, which is nothing but the monotonic transformation of the previous utility function as you will see in a bit. For now, you can ignore the mo monotonic transformation part and let's draw the indifference curve passing through the point 8 comma 2 and 6 comma 4. So your points remain the same which are 8 comma 2 and 6 comma 4 because this is the graph given to us and on the x axis you have animal crackers which is represented by A and on the y axis you have beans which is represented by B. So consumption bundle would be of the form A comma B. So let's first draw the indifference curve passing through the point 8 comma 2 or the locus of all those points that Bertha finds indifferent to having 8 ounces of animal crackers and 2 ounces of beans. For that we need to first calculate the utility that Bertha is getting at the consumption bundle 8 comma 2 because then only we would be able to find other combination bundles which gave her the same utility as the consumption bundle 8 comma 2. So that would be V at 8 comma 2 which is 1000 multiplied by 8 square multiplied by 2 square as the utilities of the form 1000 a square b square so this is your 2 5 6 double 0 sorry triple 0 so now we have to find all those combinations so now your utility is a comma b 2 5 6 triple 0 now we have to find all those combinations which give us this utility given that your utility function is of the form 1000 a square comma b square which is equal to 2 5 6 triple 0 now this gets cancelled with this so you all you are left with is a square b square should be equal to 256 taking square roots on both the sides we would be able to reach the equation where a b is equal to 16 we have to find all those combinations of a and b such that the product of them is equal to 16 and we already drew, drew the graph for this equation in the previous part passing through the point 8 comma 2 and this graph look like this so this is again your parabola passing through the point 8 comma 2 the question also asks us to draw the locus of the points that she finds indifferent to having 6 ounces of animal crackers and 4 ounces of beans. Again, we have to draw the indifference curve passing through the point 6, 4. So, your 6, 4 will lie here. And if you again do the entire math, you will be able to reach the 
equation which looks like a b is equal to 24 and we already do the graph for this which looks like this so this blue graph is the locus of all those points that bertha finds indifferent to having six ounces of animal crackers and four ounces of beans